Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are be rating every single video game I have played this year, from worst to the best. Um, I have played 18 games this year. We're not talking like ones that came out this year, but we are. There are some games that came out this year that are on this list. Um, but yeah, <coughs> sorry, I have a cold. All right, coming in at number 18, I have Five Nights at Freddy's Three. Um, this is only a one that I just do not like. I don't like. The setup it's not even that scary uh and i just don't like how it's it's just stupid coming in at number 17 i have five nights at freddy's one um it's a classic i felt like i should try it out i played it as a kid but yeah it was pretty scary the jump scares that get me at number 16 i find nights at freddy's two um it was a this was one of the better ones uh it just it's just not as good as all the ones that are me coming up on this list but yeah i do like like the older 80s vibe number 15 i find it's every it's four it's my favorite in the whole franchise i just love it and overall i think it's amazing at number 14 i have dead island 2 this was a kind of disappointing game but i did kind of like it at the same time uh i like the the open world i uh, I liked the brutal zombie stuff. I overall thought it was a pretty good game. Uh, I chose, like, the main black guy. Uh, I just thought he looked pretty cool. So, I wanted, so that's the character I used. But it was kind of hard to beat, so that's kind of why I put it lower on this list. At number 13, I have Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, I like the fighting. The story's okay. Um, but, yeah, I, this was, like, the first Mortal Kombat game that I played, so I didn't really play the story that much, but I figured I'd have to include it on this list. At number 12, I have Mortal Kombat, um, 10. Uh, this is one of the better Mortal Kombats, in my opinion. Uh, it was a lot, like, better, more serious. Uh, so I love that vibe. The horror DLC add-ons peak. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. It's fun to play with friends and stuff. This is like our second go-to for Mortal Kombat games, so yeah. At number 11, I have Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, this is my favorite Mortal Kombat. I love every second of it. I completed the whole story. Um, yeah, we're getting to the games I've played the whole story. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. I love Omni-Man. love Quan Chi. They come out with add-ons. They come out with the whole seasons. Uh, I love the invasions mode. That's peak. But yeah, I just overall love Mortal Kombat 1. Number 10, I have Spider-Man Miles Morales. This is uh, my least favorite Spider-Man game, but I still really like it. The swinging is amazing. The story, um, I felt like it was just to get to know Miles Morales better before Spider-Man 2. But I love this game. It's amazing. Uh, I love the, the graphics. I love the swinging. Um, this is my favorite swinging for the Spider-Man games. Um, I loved it. Uh, I love the winter vibe. It was amazing to play during Christmas time. So, yeah. And number nine, our only VR game on this list. I, this is when I first started playing uh, Oculus uh, Story Games. I have The Walking Dead Scenes and Sinners. This game was fantastic. I have no complaints about it. It just, <coughs> it was just amazing. Uh, I love the upgrades. I love how you can explore different places. The action was amazing. It got me creeped out. I just loved it. I also beat this game. Uh, I did all the add-ons. I basically 100% of it. It is one of my favorite, uh, it's, yeah, it's just one of my favorite Oculus games to play. I even play it still because there's a ton of upgrades to get and stuff for your weapons. At number eight, I have Red Dead Redemption, the first one. It was pretty good. Um, it was, it was, uh, pretty good. I played it after Red Dead Redemption. I like, I played it after Red Dead Redemption 2. So I really liked that game, so I was like, might as well try out the first one. It was amazing, actually. Uh, I was, it was kind of sad when John Marston died. That was one of my, that was, uh, 
yeah, it's just an amazing game. I didn't really play it much after I beat it, because I, you know, uh, but that, this game just proves that the graphics don't have to be great, to be a great game. Uh, it made a lot more sense after Red Dead Redemption 2, because it's, a uh, Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a prequel to the first Red Dead. But yeah, it was pretty good, pretty old game, I liked it though. And number seven, I had The Walking Dead Telltale Season 1. This was such an emotional game. It was an emotional roller coaster, but I still loved it. Um, haven't got the season two yet. I've just been playing some other games, but yeah, it was a it was a very sad game. I really liked it though. It was there's not much to say about it. It's just you know, and the graphics weren't that great, but that doesn't really make anything. It it makes the game better, but it didn't make this in this case it didn't make it worse either but yeah i really like the walking dead telltale it's a very underrated game too now a lot of people know about it and i just saw it on tiktok and i was like oh i like the walking dead so might as well try out this game i uh, inner yeah i love the games where you make choices and i got to make a lot of choices some of them are hard some of them are easy but they i forgot to put a game on here how did i forget about uh, uh so I forgot to put a way out. I love way out. Uh, let's see where we where we put it though. Honestly, it'd probably be next on the list. So we'll change it to nineteen. Um, but we'll just go after. So after that would probably be a way out. I love the way out. It was a fantastic game. Uh, it was very sad too. Uh, at the end, me, I played with my dad, it, I, and I think that was for the best. It was amazing game. I ended up the one who had to kill my dad. I, I was, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I did not expect that plot twist. <coughs> I was Vincent, my dad was Leo, but yeah, um, it was a pretty good game, though. I, again, you had to make some choices. Uh, next up, uh, for number six is me, The Last of Us. Uh, I freaking love this game. It is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, it was very sad, though. I love the game, though. I love traveling with Ellie and everything. It was such a good game, and, oh, it really changed me after I love this game, though. Uh, yeah, I... I love the graphics, uh, because I played the remastered version, and it was one of my, f f this was my second PlayStation game I've ever played, and I loved it, I loved it so much. At number five, the game that made me a gamer, I played it in 2018, I forgot about it, so, yeah, uh, Spider-Man, this game was forever the best game of all time on my list, but I just played some other freaking amazing games. But this game truly made me get into gaming because yeah, it was amazing when I was eight. I was eight years old when I first played it, and I loved it. And then, and then four years later, I mean five years later, I played it. But it was such a good game. If you guys have not played Spider Man and you guys have, don't, and you guys own a PS Five. Are truly missing out but yeah um this was the first game where we got to see really fully spider-man in action in modern times and i loved it because um yuri's peter parker will forever be my favorite spider-man yeah he is, and this is the most like emotion i've ever gotten playing a superhero game or watching a superhero movie it truly was an amazing game <clears throat> at number four i have spider-man 2 it was high on my list it was number one for um until i was sitting down and making this list thinking about it i love spider-man 2 it was such a good game i was hyped up and i was sad to because i i kept track of every single day until this game came out and it came out and i was truly surprised on how good the game was 
yeah, this was, this is my favorite Spider-Man game, and it forever will be, but yeah, <coughs> um, I love switching between Miles and Peter, that's the thing I'm looking forward to the most, and I love how your suit damages over time, so yeah, now we're moving into my top three favorite games of all time. At number three, I've got a war. I just beat it today, and it's 2018. Holy crap, this game was something. I was not expecting me as good as it is. It is, dang, it's such a good game. It, I loved it. I freaking loved it. Um, Yeah, I love seeing Kratos and Atreus uh, bond together. I will need to play the older games, but I'm not playing Ragnarok. Uh. I love this game. I I was speechless at that. I, I was like, what do I think? Like, this game was truly something. It's another game that tr it's changed me. And yeah, I love God of War. And it's a masterpiece. And I, I, didn't, I didn't know it was open world until I beat the game, though. So I was kind of disappointed. I was like, this game was open world? <laughs> but yeah. And number two, I had The Last of Us Part 2. I played this before The Last of Us Part 1 because it was cheaper, so I just got it. And I loved it. This this was my first ever game I played on PlayStation. And I cried by the end of it. Like, I was truly bawling my eyes out when Joel died and at the end. It's, it's something. It was an amazing game. I recommend playing The Last of Us Part 1 first. Just saying, if you guys are debating on playing the games. But I was like, huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, I love this game. When Joel died, I was truly sad, though. And then number one, the top dog of all gaming. Everyone knows this game. Everyone's at least played it once. Red Dead Redemption 2. I, I was crying by the end again. Like... Chapter 6 was such an emotional chapter. They developed Arthur Morgan so well. They made his story so freaking sad by the end. When you when you know he's dying at the end. You know what's going to happen. And then, you know, like sometimes they just die. And you're just like, oh, that's sad. But no, they made him seem like he was dying. And they made him on his last, like, final mission. And you truly, like, have goosebumps on you. Like, I mean, goosebumps just thinking about it. It was, like, that's a game if, that I would go, that's, like, my game I would go back to for the first time and play again. Like, it was, it was such a good game. And when I got it, I was so happy. I was, like, I was debating on getting rid of it in Chapter 1. I was, like, I'm so bored. When I got to Chapter 2, I was speechless. Like, and... I will never forget the American Venom mission. I, it, it took me a while to beat, not gonna lie. But then I beat it. I was happy. I was sad. And I, yeah, sometimes I go back and just play that game. But yeah, that that is my list of this year's 2023 ranking for my video games that I played this year. Next year, it's definitely a bigger list because this is my first year that I became like a full-on gamer. But, yeah, um, that's my list. Uh, later this week, I will be doing my movie list. I'm just not sure if I'll watch any more mo movies that came out this year. But, yeah, that list is a lot bigger than this. But, yeah, those are all the games I played this year. So, yeah. So, anyways, bye, guys. Hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe. And if you guys, um, dang, it's been a while since I've done my outro. Bye, guys. Hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe. If you guys did, please smash like. And subscribe it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.